I'm using my Sunday morning voice. All right. <laughs> We are going to, we, uh, we're delighted to have you all here at the Congregation Line of Judah for this interfaith service. We have been praying that this be an opportunity for the kingdom of God to come together uh, and for us to be able to bless Governor-elect uh, Baker and the uh, President Themselves are made of the chiffon of men's hopes, desires, and aspirings. The dream is always moving. It can never be contained in a life. Our deepest fear is not that we are inadequate. Our deepest fear is that we are powerful beyond measure. It is our light, not our darkness that most frightens us. We ask ourselves, who am I to be brilliant, gorgeous, talented, fabulous? I'm Imam Suhaid Webb, currently the Imam of the Islamic Society of Boston the Cultural Center here in Roxbury, right down the street from Dudley, the spiritual home of Malcolm X. I'm here to give you some words of wisdom. Be mindful of God, and God will get your back. Be mindful of God, and you will find him in front of you. 
If you ask, ask of God. And if you seek help, seek the help of God. He said, blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are they that mourn, for they shall be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are they which are persecuted because of righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your request to God. Three things remain. Faith and hope and love. And the greatest, the greatest of these is love. But blessed is the one who trusts in the Lord, whose confidence is in Him. They will be like a tree planted by the water that sends out its roots by the stream. In the year that King Uzziah died, I saw the Lord, high and exalted, seated on a throne, and the train of his robe filled the temple. Above him were seraphim, each with six wings. With two wings they covered their faces, with two they covered their feet, with two they were flying, and they were calling to one another, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord Almighty. The whole earth is full. First of all, then I urge that supplications, prayers, intercessions, and thanksgivings be made for all people, for kings, and all who are in high positions, that we may lead a peaceful and quiet life, godly and dignified in every way. What, with what shall I come before the Lord? and bow down before the exalted God? Shall I come before him with burnt offerings, with calves a year old? I'm Ron Friedman, the senior rabbi of Temple Israel, Boston. Governor-elect Baker, Lieutenant Governor-elect Polito, your families and this congregation. We have brought from Temple Israel a gift of uh, a mezuzah, the element that is placed on the doorpost of the house within the scroll that's, a, that's within that mezuzah are two reminders. One is of the absolute unity of God and the second is the most elemental command to love God. There are various items that uh, our clergy persons have brought this has that very special gift, that tall cone, and it has a, a, a special significance.
the 2nd of November. A candidate has stepped to the podium to give the dreaded concession speech. He's an extraordinary man who is keenly aware of his purpose, his calling, his destiny. We cannot wait until tomorrow to do what is fiercely urgent today. All we have is right now. Can you tell your neighbor all we have is right now? I'm an interactive preacher, so I have to talk to you. Lord, plant my feet on high ground. Lord, lift me up. And so I want to ask all of the uh, ministers here uh, present to come forward, and then I'm going to ask uh, the governor-elect and the lieutenant governor-elect of their staff to come also. And, and really that we might pray not just for a light in position, an you know, impartation, but truly uh, almost like a, an arrest of God upon their lives, that he might take hold of them and uh, lead them every step of the way. So let, let us do that now. And, uh, as uh, Bishop Johnson leads us, you are also invited to pray for them to declare your blessings upon their lives and their administration as well. Let us stand together. We decree wisdom. You said if anyone lacks wisdom, let him ask for it from you. You give to all men liberally and upbraid not. And so we are declaring today that he has the wisdom of Solomon. As a great job, a great responsibility has been placed upon his shoulders. May he have the wisdom, first of all, to look to you. We fervently pray that you, who enlightens and sanctifies every human being, to bestow your blessings upon Charles Baker and Karen Polito, whom you in your divine providence have called to serve the citizens of this commonwealth. I'm myself, Lauren and Steve, and a big part of our team who are here tonight. I just want to say thank you for your faith and your blessing. And by the way, Bishop Foxworth, I haven't met anyone since the election who didn't vote for me. <laughs> you scared me twice tonight because other people picked Philippians. And I thought, oh my God, here it goes. <laughs> and I picked, we picked, Philippians chapter 2, 3, and 5. Melody of Christ. Do nothing out of selfish ambition or vain conceit. Rather, in humility, value others above yourself, not looking to your own interests, but each of you to the interests of others. The glory, majesty, dominion, and power, both now and forevermore. Amen.